You guys, Dan the Beast 94 here, coming back at you with Q&As with Dan the Beast 94 and the uh, giveaway drawing. I have two names in this hat. I got Jim Hayes and uh, Markboy316. Um, if you guys have any questions for me that you want me to answer for next week's Q&A, leave your questions in the comment section down below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more Dan the Beast 94 videos. So anyway, I got three questions for you guys today. Um, they're all from Markboy316. Uh, one of the questions that he asked was, um, how long have I been a wrestling fan? Um, my most vivid memory of watching wrestling was the, uh, the Iron Man match with, uh, Kurt Angle and Brock Lesnar, which was 2003. But, according to my mom, I've been a wrestling fan since I was about three or four. Um, and, you know, I could agree with her because my earliest memories of having, you know, wrestling things was, uh, during a, uh, during one of those Christmases, uh, my grandmother had bought the, uh, the Bendoms, the WWF Bendoms, and, um, I remember I got, like, the Road Warriors, Val Venus, Godfather, Triple H, Undertaker, Stone Cold, The Rock, Brian Christopher, New Age Outlaws, Steve Blackman, and I remember she bought the ring that came with it, and it came with a ball, uh, Paul Bear, uh, Bendem as well. I don't recall whatever happened to the ring. I know I got rid of the Bendoms couple years back would have been nice to present you some nostalgia you know if I still had them but they were so dirty you know they just been used the hell out of I used to play the hell out of those things and um yeah I mean I've been a wrestling fan I guess you could say spawning over the past 20 years now so that's a long time that's a long time and you know now that I have this YouTube channel up and running I'm Glad to be uh, sharing all this with you guys because I don't really have anybody else to share it with. Um, then he asked me what my favorite male and female superstars are. Who are my favorite male and female superstars? Um, if anybody recalls, my all-time favorite superstar of all time, male superstar-wise, is Owen Hart. But just to be fair, if we're talking about today's generation of wrestling, you know, people who are actually current currently active today whether it's wwe tna um ring of honor AEW. Uh, my two favorites male and female are kenny omega and oscar kenny omega i've been a fan of his for the past couple years now ever since he joined bullet club i wasn't really familiar with who he was until i caught him you know joining the bullet club becoming intercontinental champion then he had that match with Chris Jericho at Wrestle Kingdom back in 2018. I thought that was phenomenal. Um, and you know, now I get to see him on AEW. Actually, actually get to see him on live television instead of just browsing through YouTube or any type of social media just to catch a match. Um, he was at Northeast Wrestling a couple years ago um, in New York. I could have went, but you know, travel wise, I kind of do it. Um, then he asks what my favorite WWE or wrestling DVD of all time is, which I will show you guys right now. Uh, the Road Warriors, the life and death of the most dominant tag team in wrestling history. This is a two disc set. Um, basically just talking about their career, um, how they started, how they met, where they were trained. Um, basically winning every type of tag team championship around the globe. And then talking about their their rise and falls, especially what Hawks demons with alcohol and um, drugs. Um, I wish that DVD would have gone to a little bit more detail on what Hawk did after he left the WWE in 92. Because I know he had a stint in ECW. Um, I know he ended up going to like New Japan. He formed a tag team with uh, a wrestler named the Power Warrior. Formed the Hellraisers. Um, until Hawk and Animal reformed in 96 for, uh, WCW. Had a brief WCW stint, came back in WWE in 97, left in early 99, and they had a story going on around 98 where they basically brought Hawk's real-life problems onto television, which I don't really think that was the best move, especially for Hawk. You know, I don't think Hawk was really comfortable with it. 
But overall, if you guys haven't seen this documentary, seen the matches on here, um, it does include extras and specials. So it includes matches from NWA Georgia Championship Wrestling 1983 to WWE Raw in 97. Um, exclusive commentary by Jim Ross and Animal. They have a Hawk tribute. Then they have promos, interviews, music video, and loads more. So definitely get that DVD. Um, you could probably find it for about $10 on eBay. Maybe less. Um, trying to find a new copy of that is, uh, ain't gonna go well. Because I remember I bought that brand new, um, a couple of years back. I think I only paid about nine ten dollars brand new sealed maybe a little bit more um only because it was like one of my favorite dvds uh growing up and that's how i really learned about hawk and animal and then you know back when i was a kid you know a huge pop for when animal came back and then they you know had that tag team with heidenreich which i don't really think it was best for business because i don't really think heidenreich took the character seriously but uh Anyway, guys, let's get to the drawing. Got two names here, so let's shake this up a little bit. All right. I draw. All right. So. All right. Mark Boy 316, you are the winner of the uh, Best of the Hardy Boys DVD with the uh, Best Buy exclusive slipcover. So if anything, my man, um, I'm going to send my link to, I'm going to have a link of my Instagram account down in the description below. Make sure you message me if you have it. Um, if not, uh, maybe Facebook, if you have a Facebook. But my best bet would uh, reach out to me on Instagram message me give me all your information and i will be glad to send out this dvd um i'm hoping today um i'm supposed to have a birthday dinner today i know i said i would send these things out today but it's either going to be today or tomorrow guys um i have a birthday dinner to go to my birthday until sunday but my mom's boyfriend offered me to take me out to outback so i'm going to be doing that today so, uh, don't worry. I will be sending these out. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, thank you for catching this video. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Leave your questions for, um, leave your questions in the comments, uh, for me to answer in next week's video. And, uh, with that being said, Dan the Beast 94 signing off.